Hello, 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 hello. Wednesday, March 19th, 2014. Hey, I said that without even looking at the calendar. So who am I? John Beatty, International Director of the British People's League, promoter of the white man's march that took place on March the 15th. This is the Dinosaur News. Brought to you five days a week from Central Ontario Cottage Country. British People's League is the sponsor, BritishPeople'sLeague.com. Glad to have you aboard. Let's get a couple of housekeeping items out of the way here. I need help here at the building, the house, whatever you want to call it, Britannia Building, administrative assistant or driver, somebody to get free room and board. There are chain stores in the cottage country area here. After all, you know, there's millionaires head up in the cottages. So they want all the conveniences while well, they're here. So what I'm saying is you could work here part-time, put in quite, you know, a few hours to be fair for the room and board. Totally private, lock on doors the whole bit. And you could get a part-time job with one of the local stores. I was thinking age range 25 to 35, some without a family attachment at this time or whatever. But I just, uh, I'm finding all the paperwork involved kind of tedious because things are picking up. Our coverage of the March 15th March, uh, promoting the different blogs and the news about the coordination amongst the old British Empire. We've received a lot of fan mail as a result and I I didn't even partake while well, we, we have plugged on these videos and of course it costs a bit of dough to produce the videos with the internet connections, the server, the high speed internet, etc. But the paperwork's at picking up. So hallelujah, more people are, are taking an interest in the British People's League. And we're rubbing off of the success of the March 15th internationally coordinated old British Empire stock countries. I'm slipping that British Empire stock thing in there. Mr. Hunt that organized it's a virus descent, so I'm having a bit of fun here. And the activities took place, though, and it's a fact, in the Anglo-Celtic, Anglo-Saxon world only. There weren't any tie-ins with uh, Eastern Europe or Central European countries. There was response from Australia, New Zealand, the motherland, and old British America or America. And I'm very ashamed to say, apart from these broadcasts, there was no activity in Canada. So you can figure that one out. But in any case, we got a lot of paperwork here. I can keep someone busy. And even for a few months, it doesn't have to be a long-term commitment, just till I get caught up or, you know, for as long as things work out. It would have to be someone recommended to me that's in our circles, etc. Now, we do have one party is considering the option. I'm trying to give the party a nudge that it's urgent. And hopefully we get some other applications, not that this party applied. We'd just be trying to put pressure on a certain party to realize that BD needs help. <coughs> the enemy would say in more ways than one. So how are you today? Dinosaur News, five days a week, brought to you for your pleasure. Your evening tea in the motherland as it's, you know, later on there. And then in the States and Western Canada, it's still in the afternoon. So we try and pick a time that's suitable. But I may be fired if I keep saying that nasty two-letter soul word. Well, as you know, we've been plugging the March 15th success, and it's on blogs everywhere. Young people, intelligent young people, patting each other on the back, and so they should for their active participation and their bravery. They faced some hostile mobs in Knoxville, Tennessee. It was close to a brawl. And, of course, our people would have been outnumbered. But the beauty is, by being coordinated around what was left of the old British Empire countries, the actions did go ahead. But the talk afterwards, the blog traffic, it's just phenomenal. I've got to calm down now. It's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's four days, BD, after the event. So I think it's about time I calm down. 
but after decades of waiting for something like this to happen and sharing with a couple of internet friends, uh, especially the uh, American broadcaster, British American broadcaster, Don Advo, that many of you probably listened to on the Don Black Show, we're friends. I was emailing him. I think I have one line I wanted to mention. Yes, uh, there were caller in to one blog show, a two-hour blog show that was carried yesterday in the States. And they were talking about the show was like a massive revival for the good old race, full of victory and all being fully aware that it was a turning point towards victory someday. Well, actually, it made me feel truly retired. There are so many young guys with leadership skills like the uh, Kyle Hunt man and uh, Robert Randall. I think he's down in the Cincinnati area. And the irony is, you know, Don Advo and I, we've been talking a few months back how we were commenting on different blogs, trying to, you know, give the youngsters a push from we gray hairs. And uh, we were sort of feeling a little bit isolated. And then all of a sudden, in a couple of months, there's Don Advo becoming a co-host on a major white radio station, the Don Black Show. Then this March 15th miracle. And then for, for Beanie Boy here and the British People's League starting up these five-day-a-week videos. When do we start them up? February 17th. All this in such a short period of time. It's a wave. It's a wave of success. I don't want to be accused of uh, riding in on, on uh, another group's success, but we are in on this together to a degree. Now, today's the last day we're going to be raving and promoting what took place March 15th because there is a, a page out there, March 15th, White Man March. Google that. And it'll tell you the scoop. Uh, so we've got to get back to our, our British People's League roots and uh, our situation here. As I've already said, we need an administrative assistant. And I'm still working on the book. And we've got to give plugs for other groups as well. Although they're all joining in on the on the parade, that's for sure. And I don't blame white youngsters everywhere. It's an incredible situation. They... They're all in contact on the blogs. I've heard the shows. And there's unity around the, the Anglo-Celtic globe. It's, it's just fantastic. Uh, that's why I'm so hysterical about all of it. What else have we got? It must be hard for those who who know we're right, but they don't have the guts to get in touch. I don't want to say I hope it makes them squirm because it's not a nice way. You attract more with honey than with vinegar. But we're getting an avalanche of likes and so on from American Facebook people. It's kind of cute, you know, here we are, British People's League, but of course we're working together. I am overwhelmed, though. Uh, what's this, about our sixth week with the Dinosaur News and in the last three days since we've been promoting the White Man's March, we've had uh, quite a few emails. Facebook, every time I click into Facebook now, the personal Facebook, there's the little red number sign that someone else is like this or appreciates the talks we're giving. And our Candor friends are keeping in touch. Candor.org.uk, C A N D O U R.org.uk. None of our plans have been abolished. We just don't have the funding to coordinate the same timing as the White Man's March people and Kyle Hunt. Our van plans are still on hold. Everything we've talked about in these videos, not one iota of planning has been changed, and they will take place. Believe me, just as I predicted these videos would take place. I'll bet there's a lot of people out there who never thought Beatty could do it five days a week. Well, we're here. We're doing it. Don't ask me how. 
technical data and I don't mix. This is just forced upon me now. My duty. The blessings I had as a child being raised in a British stock home. Scottish father and grandfather. Northern English grandmother. It's my duty to carry on the tradition. It's getting rather difficult, especially when our young people are all race mixing. It's not good for either race, is it? Every race on the planet can be proud of their own particular righteousness. We're not going to talk about the gangs of criminals and the, the knockout gangs and the whole garbage out there. As you all know, you're getting that news on the regular channels. Ours is a channel for what we're doing about it. I'm sure there's a white underground building out there. One fellow asked me in a comment board why I would call it white underground. Why not white above board? My answer was very, very simple. When you've lost jobs, I've lost two families over all of this. And so have hundreds of you out there who, who watch these videos. Suffered by loss of your family life, loss of your jobs. That's why it has to be underground. Apart from those with the raw guts and the raw courage. And the good Lord meant it to be like Kyle Hunt and this Randall fellow in Cincinnati. Or Don Advo or Don Black or myself or something. We're, we're, we're stuck on the front line. There's no honor in retreat. But we are giving you out there the advice Organize underground legally. I went into great detail yesterday on that. So click in the, the March 18th video. No sense me repeating the whole razzmatazz here. But you know, and the fellow says in the comment board on another blog, why not above board? Well, we few are doing it above board on your behalf. And we're not asking you to come out in front. It has to be underground. And cell structures. Look up cell structures. I don't care where you look it up. On Google or wherever. Talk to some friends who know history. Divide into cell structures. Keeping it legal. Just be in place for when things really, really, really get rough, rough, rough. You'd wonder how much rougher could they get. Well, they are getting rough, aren't they? But if we're organized amongst the old British Empire countries, then we'll, we're ready for whatever hits us. And we will be ready. After hearing these young people coordinating in the last few days. And uh, many debate going on in some circles about how often should the white day take place. And Mr. Hunt has decreed it should be the third Saturday. The next one would be April 19th, the third Saturday of each month. And others are saying, well, maybe that's too often. Maybe just once a year, once every six months. What? Our race is being outbred. The time clock is ticking against us. And once a month is too much. Come off it. Once every three weeks. is The third Saturday of every month is terrific. Terrific planning. It all depends what we've got going with the British People's League. If donations finally come through to match our plans, we won't be able to spend as much time promoting the uh, white days. If we don't have the moolah to enhance our own British People's League plans and activities, our van plans, then we'll have more time to promote the White Day. And in Britain, they really came through too. I mean, I went through it all in the other videos this week. It's still, <laughs> I've got to calm down. I don't take pills of any kind. But, uh, boy, just thinking about it all, and I've been following the blogs. It's a good thing I quit the day job December 20th. Scottish fay instinct in my Scottish blood told me things were going to get busy. Busy isn't the word. The white man's traffic is filling the ether, filling the internet waves. Hallelujah. And while filling the internet waves, the beauty is keep on with the positive. Stay away from that 1939 stuff. Just stay out of it. It's quicksand. This is 2014. How it was handled last Saturday, the 15th of March, was perfect. Just enhance and enlarge on that. Down the road, there may be some clicks. Try and muscle in on it. Who knows? I mean, I 
the British People's League, we can be accused of, of honing in on it in a way. We promoted it, but we're riding the wave too, just reporting it. And I'm very, very pleased that uh, some new friends are pleased as well. It's uh, really exciting. So henceforth, you know, the British People's League, we're going to be covering other groups as well and looking after our or, oh, I nearly used that forbidden word, organizational. Our friends are in touch. We have a lot of paperwork on the desks here. To my right, there's a high chair that's cluttered to the hilt. To the left, I try and tuck it down for the studio so you can't see the stacks of paperwork. So I do need help here. There's no two ways about it. So, And even, as I say, even if it was just for a few months to get caught up, well, it, it won't be caught up because we're on a roll. I, I guess to put it that way, probably every every group in the white right is going to be attracting new inquiries of friendship as a result of what happened on March 15th. And history does tend to exaggerate. The, the role will get bigger and bigger. The snowball, the white snowball will be the size of Mount Everest by the time we're done. So that's why I think multiculturalism died on March the 15th. The uh, Jewish... Uh, 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 types that are in on the the, the left-wing liberal media must be sick. But I hate to see any of the groups get tied up in that the Jewish stuff because there are a few Jews out there who are totally on our side. Absolutely. I, I There's no Jewish guys walking in Beatty's house, so I haven't gone soft on you. But what I want to stress is don't get trapped into the, the trap of constantly wasting your life on the uh, Palestine-Israel issue, let them fight it out. You saw what happened on March the 15th. It was just positive, inspiring growth on our own, our peoples. So again, don't get tied down with the swamp of 1939, because if you do, then you're, you're finished, you're done. People that go on that route for 50 years, where's it gotten them? One activity directed by Kyle Hunt has done more than all the books and all the bathtubs full of Zionists this and Zionists that. And I'm not here promoting Zionism. Okay? Sir John A. Macdonald, the founder of Kyle Canada, was Scottish. He wasn't from Israel. I'm not going to debate it with people. I'm just telling you. Just look what happened on March the 15th. This was a pro-white situation with simple slogans. There weren't books and books and books about the history, were there? So don't get bogged down in the, in, the, in the trap of Zionism and the Jewish stuff. Promote our peoples. Ignore the Jews. Ignore the Zionists. Ignore the Arabs. Promote our peoples. And we'll continue promoting our peoples from this camera five days a week, Dinosaur News. We've talked about how to donate. You could slip something to us in the mail. John Beatty, B-E-A-T-T-I-E, -T -T -E, or British People's League, P.O. Box 691, P.O. Box 691, Minden, Ontario, M-I-N-D-E-N, Minden, Ontario, postal code K-O-M, 2KO. That's Kiss Our Mothers, KOM 2KO. Fold uh, the money carefully in, in, in paper, you know, to hide the money type of thing. Or you can do PayPal. Scout around our web pages. We're only pleading for donations when needed. Uh, there's nothing come in since I reported the 237 total for about a month, uh, a week or two ago. So we appreciate anything you can spare. And then we can keep our ship on course, working in unison with the, with the young white Turks. Talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.